I uh, I just got back from the Tinley Park Regional in Illinois, I believe. Maybe Indiana. No, I think it's in Illinois. I don't know. Uh, it was pretty terrible. The weather going down really sucked the first 30 minutes. Um, but besides that, it was okay. The weather coming back was so terrible that I actually ended up getting a hotel on Sunday night and then finishing the drive today on Monday, which I think was a good idea because my feet were frozen and it took us like an hour to get through 15 minutes of our travel or our trip like thing. That doesn't make any sense. It took us like an hour to get through 15 minutes of traveling time just because like we had to drive so slow and it was so bad. So I'm glad I stopped, but uh, I don't know. Uh, I didn't perform as well as I had hoped. I made a couple changes um, on Saturday night without any testing, and the additions I made were good, but the subtractions were not, if that makes sense. So I really liked all the cards I added last minute, but I didn't like the cards I took out. So uh, my idea was to create a deck that beat BA, and uh, I did this quite well. The issue was that um, I I made it so that it just loses to the mirror and really loses to Clifford's or uh, Clifford's or whatever. Like really, 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 really loses to them. So like that's definitely a problem. And uh, like, I don't know. I think it's like three changes I would made. Like I already have another build made up, but... I just thought I would do like what I actually played at the event, not what I hypothetically should have played. So here we go. I uh, would played three beasts. Uh, I see a lot of people playing two, but like, I don't know, beast is really fucking good. Uh, and then just two of all the other ones. All those shadows. Dragon was actually really good. You know, usually dragon's like my least favorite, but works pretty good. Uh, three Denko. Best card in the deck. Uh, I played two Mathematician. I hate this card. Uh, first off, like one of the reasons that it's hard to beat BA is because outside of opening Denko and Fusion, your play is like Mathematician sending Skamata, Falco, and then setting Shadow Games, and that's like horrible if they have Fire. Like you just lose. So I like I don't like Mathematician because it's like super slow, um, and then I also don't like it because I I cut the Shadow Games entirely. So Mathematician um, wasn't very good without Shadow Games. Like it already is, in my opinion, fairly mediocre, and I was only playing, like, I was playing three, because you, like, that's just what people do, uh, but, like, I wasn't really liking it at three, um, oftentimes, I just use the second one to send the third one, uh, and even in this case, on three different occasions, I still used, uh, the first mathematician to just get rid of the second one, like, just for the deck thing, so, I don't know, I'm liking this card less and less, it's just not the greatest in my opinion. Uh, one of the last minute changes I decided to make was two Honest, which clearly was the best decision I ever made. Honest is ridiculous. Um, your main, like, against Burning Abyss, your main, like, setup is ending with, like, a Denko, a Winda, and a Construct, uh, and then your opponent is gonna, like, maybe get around the Winda, like, maybe you just end with a Denko and a Construct, and then, like, a set Falco, and your opponent, like, tour guides, they're like, oh, they just go into Dante, and they have, like, three back row, and they don't really care what happens, because, like, they're not really thinking too hard, because they're just thinking, oh, if I get rid of the Denko, then I can use these three back row. So they're not worrying about your other cards, is what I'm trying to say. So they're not gonna, like, alicard you or anything. Uh, so they're just gonna attack the Denko, not worry about anything else, and you just drop Honest, and they just lost their entire turn, and they can't do anything. And they have all his back row locked up, so they can't, like, special summon Burning Abyss cards. Um, yeah, Honest was just really fucking good. Like, oh my god. Definitely a good decision. Uh, for the Chaos Dragons, I just played two white, one black. Um, I think that was fine. I set it on white pretty much every game. Like, I think three would be okay. I'm not a huge fan of Econ, so, like, these are obviously really good with Econ. But, uh, I don't know, they're okay. I really, a lot of times I wanted, like, a second Black Dragon, actually. But, uh, I don't really, like, you just, you don't want to see them in multiples in your hands. Like, I don't want to play too many. Uh, and then we played Big Daddy, BLS. 
like win condition. I won and lost so many games from BLS, like BLS and Snatch Steel for that matter. Like both of them are just insane because there are just so many different situations. These cards are outs to like every single situation your opponent can set up. And like I offered most of my opponents uh, the option of both siding out BLS and Snatch Deal. And a couple of them took it, a couple of them did not. So Then I'll play two Gores. Um, I really was excited for Gores. I was playing one in the last build. Really liked that, that two. That's a last minute decision. This was like my trap. See, I didn't play any main deck traps besides the core, which was really only used for like using its effect with Construct. Um, but two Gores is really good, really aggressive. Uh, there is one BA player that didn't even use fusion cards. I just dropped four Gorses in two games and three Honest. And that was funny. <laughs> uh, that's it for the monsters. It's like 24, I think. Uh, for the spells, uh, the three fusion, the three Spanish fusion, uh, one flash fusion. Flash fusion was... I, I never do flash fusion. I'm going to cut it. The deck functions fine without it, and... It, when your deck can function fine without ever seeing a card, then you can probably drop that card. That's just how I feel. Uh, I have better things to play. Uh, one thing I want to play is Dark Armed, um, and that is in the newer build. Because Dark Armed, even without Wyvern, is pretty good at just sacking people. That's like It's just really aggressive. It's a card that doesn't need attacking. And, like The only other card that you can play that doesn't need attacking is like fucking Castell or Arknight. But as far as like main decked, it's just like BLS. And that's not good. Uh, I decided to play two Dark Hole or Mageki. This isn't super like secret anymore. I guess a lot of people are doing this. Uh, I mean, it's this was this was amazing. Like just ripping through fields. If you don't open like Denko and they open like Double Dante, you can use like Dark Hole, and they get a couple effects. But if you make sure to get up the wind out, it doesn't really matter. So this was really good. I I really liked that. That was. Stellar. I think I set, I set it out one Dark Hole occasionally, but overall it's pretty good. Uh, I played two Econ. Side one of these out fairly often. I don't really like Econ very much. It's not... I don't think it's that good against Burning Abyss because... Like, you never really want to steal anything. Like, I don't even like Snatch Steal against Burning Abyss. I obviously keep it in because it's just like a game winner, but like... Econ is just usually not worth it. Like, maybe if I was playing more Chaos Dragons that I would think it was better. I played one Snatch Seal. Obviously ridiculous. I don't know. It's a lot better than I originally thought it was. I, I originally downplayed it. Now I'm thinking it's really fucking good. Uh, one Foolish, which was pretty cool. Uh, one Book, which... I uh, I, I should have a Super, but it's common. Because uh, the Super one is taking too long in the mail. Thanks, Ricky, for fucking that up. No. I, I won a Super at Locals for getting the most points, the most wins in the course of a format, and the prize is the Super Book of Moon, but this original seller backed out, so the Ricky had to order one online, and now I don't have one, and so I've got to play like a peasant. Uh, anyway, sorry for the rant. Uh, and then I play one core, because core is cool. I don't know. Uh, for the extra deck, I think it was fairly standard. I think I would have liked to get a third window, um, but, like, it's just three Construct, two Shekinago. I only, paid, I only made one Shekinago the entire tournament. I don't think I need to play two of those, especially with two Mathetician. Uh, and then one, two Winda, so I would play three Winda, one Shekinago, I think. The third Winda came up a few times where I couldn't make I hate Winda, though, like, oh my god. Winda is just ass. Like, it's cool because it locks your opponent down, but you get fucked under this, too, because, like, so many times you have, like, a Winda and a Falco... And they obviously aren't just going to attack the Falco. They're not that stupid. So, like, you just you can't flip the Falco because then the Falco's just left in attack mode. And, oh, my God, fuck this card. That was <laughs> my favorite use of Econ is just fucking getting rid of my own window. That was my favorite use of Econ the entire weekend. Uh, and then I played a Leo, which never made. Black Rose never made. Yazi never made. Arcanite never made. Goyo never made. Armades made a couple times. Castell made a couple times. x made a couple times. I think that's just pretty standard, um, in my opinion. I would say it is. Side deck is uh, three MST. I think that's pretty cool. Three bake through skill. Uh, I don't think it's. I don't think I'm gonna cut this down to two. The idea is against Brain Abyss, all I would ever side, and this worked really well. Like this deck, like did what it was designed to do, which is just rape Brain Abyss. Um, but I would decide in these four 
uh, the two MSTs for either non-fusion area or royal command or whatever, and then the two breakthroughs for the tribute stun monsters. Um, so, I don't know, I thought that was a good idea. And then I played three fairy win because Cliffords are fucking stupid, but... Yeah, and then the rest of the stuff was just for the mirror, pretty much. So I decided, uh, well, I decided two shadow games because it's obviously really good against the mirror. I also decided in one of these against Cliffort because, like, yeah, Cliffort is just oh my god. But I'll get to the tournament report in a second. Um, and then I decided two transmigration prophecy. I never really drew these. Like, I when I drew them in the mirror, I drew both of them, and I had a Denko up, so like that didn't help me. But I, I still think this card is cool. I wanted test it more. Tsukiyomi, this card is really freaking good. Really liked it. I drew it all the times I sided it, pretty much. Um, and it was just fantastic. Uh, I mentioned in my other video, but if you uh, Tsukiyomi your own fusion monster face down and then flip it back up on your next turn, it doesn't count as being special summoned from the extra deck. Uh, it just counts as being special summoned. So your opponent can't like fusion it, and then you just have a fusion monster, and it's really good. Uh, also reusing, I was like, I like looped a beast three turns in a row. <laughs> it was good stuff. Uh, and then I played Mind Control, which is obviously insane in the mirror, but I never drew it in the mirror, unfortunately. So basically what happened in the tournament report, uh, I did not do as good as I wanted to, because, like I said, I built a deck that was designed to beat Burning Abyss, and then... It just auto lost to Chettles and Clifford, and I played two Clifford really early on, putting me at an early X2, and then later on I lost to a Mirror, putting me at a X3, unfortunately. I uh, but <laughs> just some interesting things that happened. I almost dropped round one after getting two owed in like five seconds to Clifford. Uh, he had two Clifford monsters on the field, no other cards. And I uh, had a Foolish Burial and all the cards. Like, there there were other cards. They're all relevant. So I'm just trying to simplify it. Um, and I Foolished. And I was like, I could Foolish for Skamata, Foolish for Falco. I didn't have a setup graveyard. So, like, I would have to go Falco or Skamata, Falco. Um, and then just, like, pass. But then I was like, wait, I can just go for damage. So I Foolished for Skamata. Um, added... Or Foolish for Skamata, sent a Hedgehog, added Dragon. Fuck, I'm dropping everything. Uh, added a Dragon, known some Dragon, attacked like a Helix or whatever the fucking thing is called. And then he just is like, hey, I, uh, I, I had Skill Drain up, so they're they're at 24. And I, I was like, fuck. And then I almost immediately lost. Well, like, at that point, he was like, well, you, you can take the attack back. But, like, I had... That play was obviously horrible if it didn't go through. It's like, the, had I known, it's like, taking the attack back didn't matter. Taking the dragon itself back would have mattered. So, But, like, I'm not going to ask. I wasn't going to be like, oh, hey, I'm really stupid. Can you let me, like, go back in time and not make the worst misplay of my entire life? So, that's just a thing that happened. Um, and the other Clifford player, I wasn't even salty about. We both admit that he just, like, sacked me. I'm not too salty about getting sacked most of the time because, like, everyone sacks people. Like, for every time you top deck BLS, your opponent also top decks a BLS. Like, that's how the world works, folks. Um, but game one, he was main decking Soul Drain and obviously opened it. Um, and I don't main deck MST, as you see. So I didn't have an out to it besides uh, Castell or whatever. So. That didn't work very well. Game two, he had... I got to a point where he had, like, a Helix equipped with Sacrifice and a Scout. And I had an MST and a Fairy Wind. And, like, a Construct. And he drew, and I... He played for Scout, and I Fairy Wind the field. Uh, he had another Scout with Helix... Or with a Sacrifice, not Helix. Um... And then he activated it, paid the life points, I MST'd, he has one card left in hand, it's a third scout! <laughs> this is the second turn, folks! Uh, <laughs> third scout. So, I didn't, I didn't have an MST for the third scout, so that kind of sucked. And then, uh, he got me onto like, no cards, I just had a Gores, and he had previously 
tried to warning a construct summon. Like he said, the fusion was fine. Um, and then he warning the construct, which obviously doesn't work. So I knew he had the warning, and it got me down to a point where uh, I just had a gores, but I knew he had the warning. So I was like, well, yes, you got it. So that was that. Um, and then the only, the only other interesting match, I played against Evil Swarms, which is the only non meta match. I played eight rounds of just meta and then one Evil Swarm. Uh, but the Evil Swarm player I played was really weird. Like, <laughs> he was just really creepy. So, like, I have the um, I have the Aisha token, my girlfriend. And he was like, who is that? I was like, oh, it's my girlfriend. Uh, but she can't spectate because the the people at Tenley, the judges are being real assholes and not letting pe anybody spectate. Um, and he was like, oh, well, you could just... Is she 18? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, oh, well, you could just get her uh, as your legal guardian. And I was like what the fuck are you talking about? Like, please just play Yu-Gi-Oh. And then he was like, yeah, man, you could just get her as your legal guardian. And then she would, she would have to watch you. He'd be like, she's my mom. I'm just like, dude. And he was being like dead serious. Like, <laughs> he was so creepy. Uh, and then other things, I had a uh, book of moon, his 101. And I was like, that is a thousand defense, right? And he's like, I don't know. And I was like, okay, fucking evil swarm player. So I call the judge over and then... As Judge was walking over, he was like, oh, it is a thousand. So the Judge got over there, and then I was like, oh, no, I guess false alarm. He's like, yeah, he was just stretching. He does that sometimes. I'm just like, dude, fucking, you're an asshole. Like, stop doing that. Um, you know, it probably was. The warning sign was when I walked up, and he said, um, I asked him if he had his invite, as I usually do, to people. And he said, no, because I don't have $500 to run the best deck. And I was like... Oh boy. And then I saw the Ophion. I was like, oh boy. <laughs> um, and then the other things he did, I. He had a caster and a Thunderbird on field. Or a caster and some other stupid Evil Swarm card. Not a Thunderbird. Maybe a Thunderbird. I don't know. Some of the caster. I econed, tributing like a hedgehog to target the caster. He chained a Infestation Pandemic. And then I chained a. Um, oh no. So he summoned it. I booked chain infestation infestation pandemic and then i chained econ and then he's like uh infestation pandemic still affects it so your econ doesn't go through and i was like it's chain link three i don't know how to explain this to you so we call it i call the judge over and the judge walks over there same judge from last time and then he's, and then the, the dude is like, oh, I have a second infestation pandemic and flips it up. And I'm just like, well, why the fuck didn't you flip that up earlier? And he's like, oh, sometimes I just forgets to. And I'm just like, <laughs> oh boy, I was just really pissed. Oh, and then the other thing he did was I summoned Construct and he was like, what does that do? And I was like, um, it mills a shadow card. Uh, and he like read it. And he was like, that's not milling, that's sending. And I was like, okay, yeah. He's like, milling is when you send from the top of the deck to the graveyard. I'm just like, okay, cool. And he just he just kept talking about like milling and shit. And then he was like, it's just a monster. And I was like, no, it's not. I'm, I mean, I'm sending a monster, but I can send cards. He's like, yeah, but you're not milling them, just so you know. And he like winked, and I was like, dude, just such a faggot. Oh my god, I hated that guy. Um, so that was that experience. Um, I also got this cool deck box. I really like uh, cats and... Pop-Tarts, and gay people, so Nyan Cat. See you guys later. Bye.